I still remember sitting in my living room about 13 years ago, trying to decide what we were gonna name this project and if we were gonna do it. And as hard as it looked, it was just one of those things that felt like it hurt more not to do than to actually jump in and do it. It's an American dream, two best friends coming up with a crazy idea with a lot of doubters and, and proving them wrong. We went to high school and college together, been in all of our free time together, you know, doing the things that we love, but really not find out fulfillment in our careers. That opportunity to, to do something you love with your best friend and be able to make a living at it was the aspiration. And we bought like 50 barrels and we're filling them. I remember looking at them going, you think we're gonna ever sell this much whiskey, 50 <laughs> barrels of whiskey? <laughs> I remember the first 53 gallon barrel we filled and I'm like, that took a lot of hard work to fill that barrel, a lot of work. As a young whiskey entrepreneur, you know, you're looking at every way that you can try to cheat the system, it just doesn't work. You gotta stay true to what's worked for hundreds of years. The first release we had, I didn't sleep that night, and I remember pulling in at five in the morning and my, my jaw dropped yeah. because we had a line down the building I'll never forget that day. From day one, we wanted to have total control over every bit of the production process. We're gonna start with the best raw materials we could get here in Washington State. We get all of our grain from one source, you know, the almond grain. So it's very consistent year after year. Our mashing, we have our recipes dialed in. Up to fermentation, where we have controlled fermentation, and then our distillation practices, we're doing batch distillation. So we're actually capturing the pure whiskey that goes into our final product. And our commitment to the barrel process, where we're seasoning the wood and we're toasting the heads, all those little things add up to what Woodenville is. And we were pretty lucky early on to get a hold of Dave. Dave Pickerel, you know, is iconic in, in craft whiskey. and have that opportunity to, to meet him and, and learn from one of the greatest whiskey makers. He never did not have an answer or a great piece of advice to help guide us along the way. And we listened to him. Taught us everything we know. Just followed that roadmap where we are today. Our employees, our suppliers, and our contractors, and our vendors, we, we wouldn't have what we have today without our people. You know, the almonds, to meet them in their early stages and form those relationships. It's a huge part of, of Woodenville. Everybody that's involved in the process now takes pride in what we're producing. What's been so special about not only our friendship, but this business relationship that we have is fully respect each other's strengths and, and, and we're so different, but still aligned in so many ways. Some advice I got in the beginning was never start a business with your best friend because you won't be best friends for long. And it's been uh, almost 12 years and we're still sitting here having a whiskey together. I'm super proud of what we've been able to accomplish and you know, the journey that all of our fans and supporters have been on with us from day one. We were all in this together and it's, it's been a pretty special journey. Cheers, bro. Awesome ride, let's keep it going.